America faces tough economic and energy challenges. We need to create more jobs, encourage economic growth, and find new sources of clean energy. Fortunately, there is an existing technology that can help us meet these needs. It's called gasification. It's a proven way to create both clean energy and raw materials for American factories. Gasification converts coal and other carbon-based fuels into a synthesis gas that can be used in the same way as natural gas, the primary raw material for many manufacturers. The most precious commodity that a chemical company can have is low-cost feedstock. To be able to take that feedstock and use it to make a chemical of much higher value is where we ultimately create the margin that we use to grow our business and serve our customers. With gasification, you can take coal or other resources, convert those to gas, make those chemicals, fertilizers and fuels, keep jobs in the U.S. and economic growth here. At Eastman Chemical Company, we use gasification to produce intermediate chemicals that go into lots of end uses that consumers use every day. A couple of examples of that are Tylenol, which is acetic and hydride made from coal here in Kingsport, and then LCD screens and things like TVs, uh, computer monitors and cell phones are made from coal. Uh, it's been a very profitable part of our business and increasingly so in recent years as we've seen energy costs go up. We've actually decided to base a large piece of the growth strategy of our company on gasification in the future. That growth will be made possible by a stable supply of synthesis gas. It starts with our own inexpensive raw materials like coal or residual products from oil refining like petroleum coke. Gasification also helps us reduce CO2 emissions, a key benefit in the fight against global warming. Gasification inherently captures CO2. We like to consider gasification as CO2 removal ready. The technology that's even in operation at our plant is capable of recovering CO2 from the synthetic gas that we create. The government is now poised to regulate carbon dioxide emissions. It's a change that will make energy more expensive, but it will also give a real cost advantage to gasification plants. With the high price of natural gas and the tightening of a lot of the EPA rules and their enforcement, we're starting to see where the, the economics are playing in the favor of gasification. Gasification is an investment in our energy future, one that will require private and public financing. The upfront costs are significant, but the payoff for this technology is huge. More jobs, a cleaner way to use our domestic energy supplies, fewer greenhouse gas emissions, and a big boost to America's economy.